Hey guys, what's going on? All right, I'm doing it. This is my last video on Halloween ends. I get lots of questions on it all the time and stuff on, you know, how I feel about it and stuff. And I've watched it now three times, so I've had enough time to kind of take it in a little more uh, and absorb everything. Uh, and I do want to do a, a Halloween franchise rankings video here eventually too. I got a few more I want to watch before I, you know, rank them officially. But for Halloween ends, I just want to get out my final thoughts on that. And basically, what I'm looking at, my feelings are, there are there's sort of two ways to look at this one. You know, for these hardcore fans like me that were sort they were sort of expecting something different. On one hand, okay, we didn't get kind of what some of us were expecting with a continuation of this of this trajectory, you know what I mean? Like the third act to the first and second that sort of ties it in. It's sort of like they came in after the second act and because of that timeline and the fucking pandemic and shit, obviously that screwed it up. So it's going to delay it four years and when it does that, you're going to you know, you got to get a little more creative with your story writing and, and stuff. I'm, that doesn't mean I still would have done it that way because there's a certain way I feel like Michael Myers has been portrayed and, you know, the trajectory we've been on, it, it's just, that was gone. It was like after the second act, they just sort of said, okay, uh, all right, let's skip ahead four years and we're basically done with that. Just put them over here and uh, let's work on a new story. Okay, now this where you go to the other hand. The, the other way of looking at it is you get this new story. You get Corey's story, which I found was very intriguing, really interesting. Uh, Rowan Campbell was fantastic in the role, and he's an Alberta boy. I didn't even realize that. That's so cool, man. I've been following him for a while. I didn't realize he was like a, you know, like a Cochrane, Alberta guy. He was born in Calgary, you know, like that's not far from here at all. That's where I go to the horror conventions and, and stuff here so very cool but anyway I thought he was fantastic in the movie really I mean his acting was brilliant um, everybody's acting was pretty good in this and it was well written and it was well shot it was a really good movie and I feel like a lot of us um, have been losing focus on that you know they're, they're so distraught by not getting that end and like I can totally understand where you're coming from because there's a lot of me that's real disappointed I didn't get that ending that like man the 2018 film for me was I mean it was a revival of slasher horror for me I mean to hit it out of the park like they did in my opinion like I really liked it I gave that movie eight and a half out of out of ten and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and it basically motivated me into uh, doing more horror content, uh, getting more serious with the channel and stuff too, because I was like, wow, it feels like my my time is back in the spotlight, you know, like back in the, in the 80s when I was growing up watching all these and so obsessed with it, and, you know, always such a big fan, but it seemed to always be on the back burner, it wasn't, you know... It wasn't front and center. and You know, we had the reboots of Friday the 13th and Nightmare, and they didn't go so great. Even though I do like the Friday the 13th reboot. It was pretty good. But, you know, it kind of ended there, and then they had the ugly lawsuit. And, but this Halloween coming back really just, wow. It was inspiring. It was cool, you know. Like, there was a lot of things that were uh, that were inspiring me to, uh, to get serious with the channel with it. So let's just say the 2018 film is very dear to me. It really is. And the story was so interesting, you know, with him at the, uh, at the hospital, I mean, Myers, you know, and, and, and getting out and everything and the whole mystery with the mask and his, you know, moving into kills. And I'm one of the guys who actually liked kills. You know, there's, there's a lot of people, I feel like the, the majority of people thought, man, it wasn't that great you know, five or six out of ten people saying, and I'm like, I, I don't get that, man. Like, I get Evil Dies Tonight was so dumb, you know? Like I said, I heard it a second time, and I went, oh, they said that again. And then it was like a third time, and I went, uh-oh. And I'm like, please don't say that again. And it, it happened, and it was like, I was like, oh, man. And it, it was just bad. Like, once I heard it a second time, I thought, oh, we're, we're good there, right? So... 
I know it was it was uh, it was an annoying part of that movie. Um, some of the lines were a little, you know, but uh, for me, Kills was it was just candy, you know. Like it was, I get to see Michael Myers doing his thing, and he was scary, and he was powerful, and it was like something we had never seen before. Like we always knew Michael was a badass, had some pretty pretty wicked strength out of nowhere. So there's sort of a supernatural element, a little bit. With you know, when he picked up Bob in '78, and bang, you're like, what the fuck? Because that that would take just an unbelievable amount of strength to do that to a person and drive it right through their body, through all that rib cage and organs and shit, and pin them in the door. That'd be insane, you know. So pulling that off was pretty cool, and uh, seeing what he did in Kills though was just unbelievable you know they turned him into like it was the closest thing I'd ever seen to like Jason you know when Jason comes back and like Jason lives or something he's just it's like he's supercharged and he's just smoking people with superhuman strength unstoppable and that's what it felt like you know like he whipped some ass in that and he also took a serious beating which brings me to another point that a lot of people have been talking about is they're like well Michael's strength and stuff is supposed to be diminished because at the end of Kills, you guys, he was really fucked up. Like he was badly hurt. And it's like, what? What the fuck are you even talking about? Yeah, he was badly hurt. But do you remember what happened after he was badly hurt? He got the fuck up with superhuman strength and absolutely fucked everybody dead. Just fucking annihilated everybody. Smashed the fuck out of time. Killed everybody where you're like, holy shit. He had never looked more devastating or more powerful. It was shocking. I was like, holy fuck. How are you going to stop this motherfucker? And at the same time, it was just like, wow. Holy shit. Just about every Michael Myers fan in the world was fucking grinning watching that going, oh my God. I mean, there was a few that might go, oh, it's over the top. But, you know, people that like Michael Myers are watching that going, fucking wow. I was just like, holy shit, that was amazing. And everybody's saying he was so weak at the end. He killed all those motherfuckers, though. Whether he was hurt or not, he got right back up. He was so hurt. He got back up and annihilated motherfuckers, crushed skulls and smashed. Like, it's crazy. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I understand you're saying he got hurt, but you got to think about what happened after that. It showed that getting hurt did fuck all to his insane power. It just didn't. That is, that's a fact reality what happened. So you have to take us seriously when you say it's even, even if it's four years later, you, the bum is telling us he's been, people have been disappearing down there. He's been killing them. So he's definitely been keeping his shit together somewhat. He's obviously eating something, you know. For him to go from absolute fucking, oh my God, what are we going to do to just this 24-year-old kid, you know, Rowan Campbell, God bless him, like I said, amazing actor, but dude's like, he's shorter than Andy. He looks 5'9", maybe? James is 6'3". He is way bigger. Like, just, uh, I don't know. It, it was hard to believe a guy like Corey is going to bust in there and just fucking body Michael Myers like that. Like, what the hell are you talking about? There's so many people that had an issue with that. And I'm like, dude, what? That doesn't follow any of that trajectory that you were doing. Like, even if you're going to radically alter the story and say, okay, it's not about Michael anymore. It's not his movie. I get it. And they sort of said that, you know. So I was already thinking, uh-oh, man. But again, we bitch about these things. And a lot of people are not looking at that great movie they still made. Because Halloween Ends is a great movie, I think. I think if you really break it down and watch this thing, it's a fucking entertaining movie. And yeah, it kind of features Michael Myers, doesn't it? And it's, it's just... I don't think anybody wanted to see him like that. Most people didn't want to see him like that originally. Like the idea for a lot of us was just fucking whack as hell. You know, like, we weren't expecting this 24-year-old relatively sizably smaller dude than 
Michael Myers for sure, manhandle him and like get on top of him, mount him and just pull his mask off and just fuck off. And you see him sort of, whoo, he gets up again. And it's like, okay, we're, I don't know, some people might argue, well, he had the evil in his eyes, so he must have that power. Maybe. But did we want to see that? Everybody's like, oh, Michael would have been so diminished. Was he, though? Really? Would it matter that he's diminished like that? Wouldn't it have been cool to continue that storyline, kind of like we were expecting, we get this payoff with this big battle between Lori and Michael. Like what we saw in the kitchen, that was just a taste. Like it ended so fast. I want to see more of that. I want to see more chase. I want to see more what the fuck are we going to do? How are we going to stop this guy? Because he's just a fucking animal. Like it's just, like I said, it's like Jason. So when you see all that, I was expecting them to have to deal with that, figure it out. And if they were going to win and kill Michael or whatever, they do it that way. And you see this powerhouse finally get defeated by Lori and you're like, wow, she is the scream queen. Amazing. But instead, you know, we got this really deflated flat tire of a Michael Myers that was just a fucking beast before that. We were so proud, you know, like, oh my God, look at how badass he is. Holy shit. And then you see him and you're like, what's going on? And he just got worked. And I'm like, I get for a story and the movie, it's fucking good. It really is. It's very interesting. It's just... Fuck, I didn't want to see that. Or I did want to see that, sure, but in a different chapter, maybe? You know what I mean? Like, I I want the rest of that where we were going. Like, he fucking kills Karen after that ass-whipping of the neighborhood. He goes up, sneaks into that place, and kills Karen. That's how injured and bad he is. Like, what are you guys talking about? Come on, now. Let's be real. He was strong as fuck, and he was still killing people doesn't make sense to do that. It doesn't. But I get it. There's a four-year gap. You want to do something different. You know, you got a budget. You got trust behind you. They're letting you kind of do your thing a little more. It was bound to happen, right? Plus, there's all those great um, comparisons to Halloween 3. You know, there's there's a lot of those. Halloween 3 uh, was, you know, a totally different direction. People were pissed they didn't get Michael Myers there. Uh, and they were so pissed, they were just blind to Halloween 3 as a movie. They were like, ah, it's fucking stupid. And I, I think a lot of people are reacting like that now, too, with ends. Because they're just, they're so bitter and annoyed. That, it was his fucking love story. And it's like, dude, put all that shit aside, okay? Pretend we're still going to get an ends that's how you want. And just look at that movie subjectively on its own. It's a fucking good movie. It's a good movie. I already got the steel books ordered. Yes, I said steel books. Anyhow. It's a great fucking movie. So I'm saying a lot of people are missing that. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. What I'm getting at is fans are getting a little clouded and not seeing this great movie they have before them because they're, they're very upset and distracted by this lack of that third act. So I totally get what you're, where you're coming from, but don't miss this beautiful movie they still gave you. I mean, they could have given us fucking nothing. That really would have sucked trying to look on the bright side of it too because like I said it's not a it's not a terrible thing it's a great Halloween movie I really enjoyed it it's just I really wish I got that ending that Laurie and Michael battle some surprising kills maybe a teeny bit of humor with some I, I was wondering if perhaps Michael was going to come along and find Corey impersonating him and doing his thing and he would get all his strength back and he would just fuck Corey up and he'd start fucking everything else up and Lori would have to come up with this way of, of defeating him with, uh, you know, probably with Allison or with help or Hawkins, you know. Like with more of Hawkins, right? Like Hawkins, he went through some shit in Halloween Kills, you know. Like he really wanted to kill him himself. He had so much guilt over that. And that was a really powerful thing, you know. I wanted to see that come to a conclusion or him maybe get a little bit of redemption out of it. And he was, you know, he was talking a lot about cherry blossoms. You know, them cherry blossoms. That's great. But it's like, dude, I want to see more of your story. And every other character, too, that was still in there. I mean, there was just wasn't a lot of screen time for some of the ones in there that I wish I would have got more of. And then, of course, the Michael screen time. 
and everybody saying, you know, in the first 78 film, Michael only had like 11 minutes of screen time. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? That is a, that is a absolute classic debut film that is an epic masterpiece. You can't even compare that to any other movies. Certainly not in the franchise. It's just a totally fucking different animal. And that was very deliberate. They were hiding him and keeping him scary. A, a better comparison would be you comparing Michael's screen time in H40 or in Kills. That would be a more fair comparison, especially because it's following that same timeline. Like, and you guys got to remember when I'm when I'm say, talking about the disappointing things about Ends. It doesn't mean I'm shitting on Ends as a movie because it's a fucking great movie. I'm not doing that. I'm really not. I'm with you on it. It's a good movie because it fuck, it is. I'm never going to deny that. I enjoyed the movie. I just part of me is is eternally bummed that I I'm not going to get this fucking amazing battle I was going to see between Lori and Michael. That was. Like, I was so excited for that. And I was so excited to see what an ass kicker he was, right? It's like uh, what Jay said on, uh, we watched a movie. Like, he was like, you're beating up my dad, you know? This fucking Corey comes in and he beats up my dad. Like, you can't be fucking doing him like that. And I'm like, exactly. Exactly. Like, just watching that's upsetting. It's like, well, why are you upsetting me? I'm a Halloween fan. We want to see Michael kick ass. It's okay if he gets beat. But don't, don't show him super vulnerable and getting manhandled you know he's pinned under a refrigerator while they just slash him what the fuck i just it's uh, i don't know that for an ending just made me really sad it's like how i wouldn't want to show him like that he is the star of the franchise without a doubt he is the star of the franchise you know and I think they sort of forgot that a little bit, you know, for that, uh, for that act. Even if they were going to do this story the way they were going to do it, I feel like we should have had not shown Michael so vulnerable. And, you know, maybe Corey doesn't manhandle him and get his mask. Maybe you do a slightly different thing. You let Corey do his scarecrow mask thing. That would have been fine, too. Um but I think, it, yeah, I wouldn't have made Michael so weak and uh, have such a kind of a small role. I wanted it to be a bigger deal. Uh, again, it's like Jay said, quoting him, his, the, the, the ending was just unceremonious for him. It was just not a big deal. It was like, oh, yeah, and we're done, and that's that. And you're like, what, what, huh? And again, it is not crapping on anybody that loved Halloween Ends. It's a good movie. I agree. Like I said, just different for that trajectory, for that climax I'm waiting for, for this big payoff where it's like they're going to serious battle now and it's going to be all over. You're like, oh, we've seen that already. No, we haven't. We never saw it come to an end. He just killed Lori's fucking daughter and disappeared. Like, it's... The fight's got to happen. Hawkins is in her corner. They like each other a lot. They like the cherry blossoms and all that. You know what I mean? Let's have them fucking play a role in taking them out. You know, and not in a big circle with a mob and doing that. You know, like, maybe they can get a little clever with it. and try. I'm sure they could have got a little more creative with it and had them all sort of play more of a role. So it would just be more satisfying as an ending. You know? Or they almost could have done that and had Michael defeated and somehow he's now depleted and has no strength and it makes more sense to do that Halloween end story with Corey and stuff at that point once the whole battle is done and, and clearly Lori has won and like, like I said for ends you almost didn't even need Michael Myers in it to have Corey's story he could he could have been you know you could have called it something totally different and it could have been you know based in Haddonfield and it's Corey's slow descent into madness you know he gets screwed over he gets blamed for something that isn't really his fault and the whole town just treats him like shit, and he gets bullied by those band kids. He got bullied by band kids. You see that one guy with a mullet? I mean, what did he weigh? Buck 20? It was hard to believe. I'm like, those guys are, those are the guys that get bullied. When I was a kid, it was those guys that'd be getting bullied. Yeah, like, 
I don't know. It was just it was weird. And then that same guy that was getting bullied started manhandling Myers. He had the thing in the eyes with the evil. I'm like, I guess so. But Michael still had it. He still sprung up. He still shouldn't have been able to just manhandle him. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. That's Michael Myers. That's not just like the Halloween killer in these two movies. It's Michael Myers. He's an iconic fucking juggernaut. What are you doing? I wish we had that closure before they did that with him. Like I said, Halloween Universe movie, even featuring Michael Myers like that would have been okay because he's old and done and it's over. Or let's say he beats Lori, you know, he kills her, disappears, you know. You give Michael the W. Lori dies, Allison disappears or something. That's just the end of that. And uh, years later, Corey bumps into him in a sewer and he's now actually weak and it is over for him. That would have been way easier to swallow for fans and stuff too. So I don't know. I just hope people are understanding where a lot of these guys are coming from. I'm trying to bridge that gap a little bit so you guys can sort of see where we're coming from. I feel like the people that are upset we didn't get that third act like I definitely was disappointed in that most of them don't see that good movie Halloween ends is like I do I came out of there and I was like I can't be mad at that movie that movie is cool it's really it's a fun movie it's just some of those decisions like why do you make them so like I wish we we could have shown how he got there like I feel like you're missing that middle piece you know like you could actually go in there and do something in between instead about how he wound up down there and had you know almost no power left yeah so that's basically it i mean i can't really say too much more about it that's just how i feel about uh how it all went down so i'm still i'm kind of a i'm a, I'm a i like halloween ends i'll just say straight up as a movie it's a good movie so I'm not going to shit on it in that respect ever. I'm just not. It's, it's it's just a really well done, well acted movie. So I can't crap on it. I can't. I just, I don't like some of the decisions with the whole Michael Myers thing, like I said. So that doesn't mean it's not still a great movie because it is. It totally is. But yeah, of course, on the other side of it, I don't get that payoff I've been waiting for that I've just been salivating for since 2018. And then you see kills and you're like, oh my God, he's so unstoppable. What are they going to do? And then he comes in and it's like, well, he's already dead. It's like, oh, well, yeah, we just sort of stuck him over here because we're kind of done with that. We, it was a four-year gap and he's we, we already did kills. And it's like, but he killed Karen and he's like crazy pow powerful and where'd he go? Oh, well, he's over here in some cave. He's barely alive. He's breathing heavy and he's uh, some 24-year-old is going to fucking body him. Anyway, uh, don't worry about that. We have another new story to show you. And it's like, oh, cool. That's a cool story. And I'll, I, I'd love to see it. But hold on a minute. I, you, you left all. And this is what everybody's pissed about. It's like, you, you forgot about all this. Why? Like, I want that ending. So part of me is just like, fuck. I'm never going to get that now. Like, I gave 2018 eight, eight and a half out of 10. I gave kills an 8 out of 10. At first, I thought might even be better than the 2018 film because I came off such a high like wow that's crazy and then you know I watched it a few more times and was like no it's not better than 2018 it's not but it's good it really is good I think I think people aren't giving it enough credit I think more people now right. after seeing ends are, are warming up to kills a little bit more than they were they're kind of like well maybe it's not that bad because they were a little more disappointed with not getting any more of that kind of Myers you know, I'm appreciating that all along, though. I gave eight and a half, then eight, and this new one I gave a seven to. And it might even be a touch better than that as a movie. It might. But a seven is a pretty good score. That's three and a half out of five. Like, any three-star plus movie, you know, is a pretty good movie. Like, I would consider that a win. I, w I would buy a three-star movie that I really enjoyed. So, three and a half, that's a solid win, man. And like I said, I ordered the Steelbooks already. Like, I am invested in that one. I, I like it. It's just I wanted that other piece, you know. I respect anybody that, that loved it, don't think they did anything wrong kind of thing, and people that hated it too. I understand where you're coming from. All I ask is the people that hate it, 
try to look at it subjectively as a standalone movie and don't just look at it as what the fuck did they do? That was so dumb and why? And you put all that aside and watch a movie. Pretend it has nothing to do with that other stuff. I swear you'll enjoy it more. And then and all these other people that really loved Halloween Ends and can't understand why anybody's upset about it and, you know, they ask for different stuff and they don't appreciate it and all that. I've heard a lot of different people say stuff like that. I don't really think that's it. I certainly wasn't asking for anything different with this. I loved those two movies. I was like, just give me, give me the rest of that story. Finish it off nice for me. And I feel like they took the story and went, and they dropped it on the floor and went, okay, so now we're going to do this. And, you know, and then at the end, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we got to tie that in a little. Just set that there and we'll sort of, okay, and then there you go. And then they just finished off with the story. I felt like it was like a, it was almost like an afterthought with that. Just going, right, we got to tie this part up a little. So let's say he does this. And we're all going, but that's, that's a fucking non-human supernatural juggernaut right there. What, what, are, what are you doing? Michael Myers in general. It's Michael fucking Myers. You built him up as this, as this juggernaut. Don't make, don't start him down here. Show us the slow decline or whatever happens. But don't just turn it off and go, oh, that never happened. Where you got people going, well, he was really fucked up at the end of the movie. No, was he? Bullshit. He killed all those motherfuckers that fucked him up. So how could he be? I mean, think about that. They beat the shit out of him. They did? Or did he take all that, get up and go, I don't fucking think so, and annihilate every one of them. Everybody's dead. And then go up and go, Karen, you're next, bitch. And go up in there and kill Karen, too. The homeless man is saying he's been in there killing people or whatever, or nobody's coming out there because he's killing them. And he knows about Michael Myers. Well, that tells me not a whole lot should have changed. Not really, or if it did, you, you got some explaining to do before you you should be showing any of these fans their, you know, iconic hero get annihilated. We didn't want to see our hero get like that, in my opinion. I think we wanted to see him still doing his thing, or at least explain how it got there. So that's basically how I feel about it. I feel like it is a really good movie. And the people on the one side are missing how good of a movie it is because they're way too upset that it wasn't what they expected. Also known as Halloween 3 Syndrome that eventually became a cult classic. I believe that will happen with Ends. I believe Ends will be more of a cult classic. Actually, even Kills could be, technically. But uh, Ends especially... I think it will because it's one of those ones that, that gets a lot of hate at first and I think people will eventually let go and see it's a pretty goddamn good movie. Well, like I said, I think it works better as an anthology piece or something, but it, it is a really good movie. So you guys that are bitching about it, you're missing a good movie. And you guys that are too busy defending how good it is just need to realize people, people are upset because they didn't get their story finished. Really, that's kind of what it is. It's not, there's not enough Michael Myers. Well, it's part of it, sure, but... The story wasn't finished, what started in 2018 and continued in Kills. It just, a lot of stuff was just left on the floor, like, oh, I'm just, they don't, those characters don't even matter, don't worry about it. You know, like, don't worry about Lindsay, don't worry about Hawkins, you don't need to worry about those people. Any, so I think some of us just have to be a little more open-minded, you know, separate that movie a little bit more and you'll enjoy it the people that are hating it or maybe you won't enjoy it but a lot of you will if you give it a freaking chance it's a good movie halloween 3 syndrome man and the rest of you that are trying to like stop trying to even justify <laughs> don't even worry about it it is a good movie but just understand at least that that's why people are upset they just didn't get their payoff ending they were hoping for much like we didn't get Michael Myers in Halloween 3. What the fuck? But Halloween 3 is a goddamn fantastic movie. It's all kinds of fun. I love it. And I'm going to watch it, I think, right now, damn it. All right, well, that's it for the uh, Halloween Ends assessment. I don't really want to get into it anymore. I just want to kind of put it away, move on. And uh, I hope we can all, you know, coexist and get along with this thing and understand we're both sides are coming from because I think I think it's pretty easy when you really break it down and think about it rationally why people are one way or the other on it 
But the fact remains, it really is a good movie. And on the other hand, we're, we're not really going to get that continuation of what we were seeing. And that's, it's a little hard to get over, but you got to get over that and you got to look at the movie you actually got. You know what I mean? And for those of you that loved it, let people be upset they never got their third act because they didn't. But that's okay. They still got a good movie and it could have been a lot worse. So you guys get along out there and we will see you again for the next video.